Hello, it's Allie. Um, formerly, my YouTube account was Bella Alley 320 and my new one, um, it's a long story, but everything's cool and groovy, and I'll be making videos on this one. Um, my new one is Being Happy Me, and um, still the same person, obviously, hello, <laughs> been out of YouTube for just probably a couple of weeks, but... Um, Anyways, here's a really super quick rundown if this is the first time you've come across uh, my channel. I, um, my heaviest weight was 320 pounds, and being that I'm studying out giving you my weight, you obviously know this is me, I'm going to be recording my weight loss journey. Um, so yeah, my heaviest weight was 320 pounds, that was May 1st, 2010. Um, prior to that, I was in the 300s, kind of bouncing around. Um, I tried to, uh, I didn't try, I went through um, the Park Nicollet Bariatric Surgery Center's um, weight loss surgery program, and I did that in 2007 and in um, 2008, well, kind of like 07 to 08 and then in 09. Um, and then in 10, and the reason I went three times was the first two times I went through the entire program and then, um, which was, took a couple of months, and then my insurance um, denied me having weight loss surgery, saying that I did not have enough medically supervised weight loss attempts. So, um, in 2010, I finally had enough where I was going to my doctor, my primary, and um, the dietitian and um, everybody through the weight loss surgery program where they did approve me. So that was probably like the best news ever. <laughs> um, but I had the Rue and Y gastric bypass surgery. Um, it was done laparoscopically and that was on May 28, 2010. I had a two week um, liquid diet um, before my surgery and so from like May 1st, like I said, my heaviest was 320, to May 20th, like 7th, 8th or whatever, I had lost 14 pounds. So I was 306 the day of my surgery. And um, the first time I went under 300 was on June 1st, where I weighed in at 295 pounds. And there were so many tears that day. It was just unbelievable. It's... Um, I guess it's not weird to me, but it's interesting, like, how much stock I put in a number that's coming to me from my scale, you know? And I know probably everybody in the world does it. I just think it's, it's really interesting. But, so anyways, um, so I can fast forward. I went through, you know, all the, the learning to eat, and you can have a couple of tablespoons, and then you can have an eighth of a cup, and you know, solid foods and pureed foods and liquid and that was going backwards, but all of the, all of the regime, um, for the first like month, <laughs> I felt a little loony. I was like seriously would wake up and like try and convince myself that I did have the surgery. It just seemed like too good to be true. And it was very surreal for about a month. And, um, I knew that I had had the surgery and I was, you know, following the rules of what my surgeon told me for after the surgery, um, kind of like the laws of gastric bypass to make sure that I'm healthy and successful. Um, there was just moments where I'd be like, did that really happen? Was I really in the hospital? Did I really have weight loss surgery? It's just something that I went through mentally and got through it and I'm well aware of the fact that I had it now. <laughs> So fast forward to um, the 28th of September, I'm four months out, and um, today is October 3rd, and just a side note, Friday was my birthday, I turned 35, and another thing people, or I tend to look forward to, I'm just like, you know, trying to figure out the comparing of all the weight loss and all this kind of stuff, I am five foot four and it's kind of a medium frame body. Um, so anyways, so yeah, since May 1st, 2010 to now October um, 3rd, 2010, I've lost a total of 85 pounds. 
and I started out wearing a um, like a shirt size, uh, like a tighter 3X moving to a 4X. So that's like a 26, 28 moving to a 30, 32. And my jeans were a size um, 28, tight 28, not gross tight, but tight. And I was moving to a size like 30, 32. And um, I never actually bought the 30, 32 because there was just something mentally that I was not willing to go there. Um, I know plenty of people who are that size and I have nothing against them. It's just moving up to like the next number kind of thing really sort of freaked me out. So I suppose I'd be the same way if I was a size 18 and I moved up to a size 20. You know, it's the next number. Anyways, so now I am in a very, very loose size um, 24. So right now I have on jeans that are size 24 that I probably shouldn't be wearing anymore because it looks like I pooped my pants. <laughs> it's saggy and whatever. So yeah, I'm moving down to size 22. I just haven't gotten out to get the stuff yet. And I have a ton of clothing from my friends, thank you, thank you, um, that are like between size 18 and 16, 18, 16, 12, that I can't wait to get into, but I'm not there yet. So um, I have not been exercising like I should be and have not been taking my vitamins like I should be. And this is my list of confessions. And I have been drinking regular soda on a daily basis and not drinking enough water. So these are the things that I am now working on. Um, I'm wrapping my brain around if I want to be successful, I need to treat this surgery with respect and treat myself and my body with respect and do what I know I need to do. So I have all my vitamins, I have my supplements, I have water, food, and legs that are willing to carry me on walks or whatever exercise I want to do. So I am going to be doing them. And actually, I don't know if this is silly or not, but um, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's Tony Horton who does the, um, the P90X workout things. Um, somebody had asked him a question on like one of his infomercials, like how do you get started on a workout program? And he said something like, you know, as silly as it seems, get yourself a calendar, pick a date, and then start marking off each day that you do something with an X. So I'm doing a little something silly, and I've got stickers, and I can see them real good. They're just little tiny stickers, and um, I've got my calendar, and for each day that I do at least 20 minutes of activity, I get a sticker. <laughs> and it may sound silly, but when you look up at the calendar and you see a whole bunch of stickers in a row and then maybe a couple of days where there are none, it really, really, really helps me to be like, hey, I need to fill in those days. I, I need to keep going consistently so I can have a whole month of stickers or a whole month of red X's or whatever it is. So that is my plan. I will be um, continuing on with that plan, and um, hopefully you guys will be following me along the way. And I love sharing in all your success stories, and if you want to call them failures, I mean, I don't love that you're failing, but I love that you're sharing it and being open and honest with all of us. And I really do appreciate everybody who makes videos on YouTube. Um, it, you know, even if it's not about a surgery that you've had, if you're just sharing any part of yourself, that's really interesting and very, very cool to me. So kudos to you. Um, just want to talk about real quick um, a little bit about me. I am, like I said, 35, and I'm a single mom. I have a 14-year-old son who, I kid you not, is the coolest person in the world. <laughs> I love him very, very, very much, obviously. He's my kid. But um, he's very very cool. He's really sweetheart, a good sweetheart. He um, is doing good in school and he plays the drums and music is like everything to him. He's got a sweet girlfriend. Um, just a very nice kid. 
and um, has a good group of friends too, which is really important to me. And uh, me and my son live with uh, my sister. We're roommates. We're renting a house right now. And um, we live in Buffalo, Minnesota, which is about 10 to 15,000 people. And um, I don't know if I could ever find a happier place than I or make some place that makes me happy than Buffalo. There's just something about it. I drive into the town and I'm just ecstatic. Um, and back to my sister, she is like my very best friend, and I don't know what I would do without her. She's four years younger than me, and just like my solid rock. I love her so much. So, yeah, so us three live together, and um, we have two kitties, um, brother and sister, and they look like cows. They're black and white. <laughs> and then I have, um, we have one dog who is seven months old. And he is part Chow and part Chelsea, and he looks like a baby lion. He's really, really cute. I'll get him on here someday. But um, so I work um, like a nine to five job. I mean, those aren't my hours, but you get the idea. In an office in front of a computer all day long, I work in agricultural insurance. I'm an underwriter, and. Um, there's days where it's extremely interesting and extremely busy and just keeps me on my toes. And there's days where I'm pounding my head against my keyboard because I'm so bored. <laughs> so with every job, there's the give and the take and the good and the bad. And um, I'm just happy to, to be there and be employed. And the company is a phenomenal company. And the people in the office are great people. So that does make me happy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wrap this video up because now I'm just looking for things to talk about. Um, once again, my old YouTube account was Bella Alley 320 and now as you can see, because you're here, um, it is Being Happy Me. So that is um, my new mantra that I'm going to be happy being me where I am right now. All right. I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.